I'm here at Silo Point with Janine Turner. Janine, uh, we are here in the lobby of Silo Point where your art is being held. Would you mind taking us on this journey? Not a problem. Welcome to Silo Point. Silo Point is in Locust Point, which is in the south side of uh, Baltimore City. And uh, my art is being exhibited here very appropriately so because most of the photographs were taken in this building, um, of this building when we first bought it. This is the building when we first bought it before we did anything to it when it was still a working grain elevator. And the title of the piece is Working Grain Elevator. Um, the building was a working grain elevator when we bought it. And um, it was uh, several years later when we started working on it because it was a working grain elevator at the time that we bought it. It had um, had some problems with its pier and wasn't very efficient anymore. So it took us a while to actually um, convince them to sell it to us. And then once the CEO of uh, Arthur Daniel Midland, which is a Fortune 500 company, he said, well, you know, if I sell it to you, you can never use it as a grain elevator. We're like, okay, <laughs> that's fine. And, the, and he was like, what? Well, what are you going to do with it? And we're like, I'm going to make it into luxury uh, condos. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, you're either crazy or brilliant, as we heard several times. And, uh, but send me some information on your company, and let's see, maybe we can do something. So we did. He bought it, and we did it. So this is uh, a very good uh, shot to depict the actual building of when um, we first got it. If you follow me down here, as you can see, there's a lot of silos. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of silos here. And um, the, right now, we've cut down all of them except for six in each corner. And while we were cutting them down, this is what they look like. It was um, very interesting, very photogenic, I have to say. And um, all of this concrete that was um, used, we reused it. There are uh, condominiums, or I'm sorry, townhouses that are right over there called McHenry Point townhouses. And we used all of that concrete for clean fill under the, under the roads. Also, at the same time, we bought another building. Um, it was a Carlari glass factory. And this is where they made Noxema bottles. And in this picture, we took all of the glass uh, the Maxima bottle glass that they had as waste and used it again for clean fill for the uh, townhouses that are right at the foot of Silo Point. So it was a very cool process as far as development is concerned, a very good development story. Um, this is the building again as we first bought it and very interesting. So we are standing about right there in the, in the photograph. Um, this is our little driveway right now and if you cut um, open here that is uh, where we're standing there, where the glass is. And these big silos are no longer here. Those were cut down to make room for condominiums. This is a picture of one of the um, floors, and it's called Ducks Kissing, <laughs> which, because there's ducks here, and they look like ducks, and they're kissing. But you can see where it says been there. Well, right now, instead of when you buy a unit here, you don't have a unit number, you have a bin number. Because what we tried to do, the architect wanted to um, recreate the idea that uh, before this building housed grain and moved grain from um, one place and through the country and then through the building and out. Well, now we move people in the same manner. So we tried to recreate certain things to have that essence. And obviously, we kept the old pillars. Um, and left them all, you know, grody like they were when we found them. So to have the reality of this old building that you were living in that is now, I mean, the, the amazing part of changing a building from an old grody grain elevator into a luxury condominium building. It's, um, it's not for everybody. When we take buyers through and they go, oh, so are you going to fix that? And we're like, oh, well, you're not a silo point buyer. <laughs> yeah, then you can go over to the Ritz-Carlton and buy something over there because you either like this industrial look or you don't. And so, but I have to say we're doing very, very well. So a lot of people like the new innovative way of developing buildings that keeps a lot of the old um, and mixes it with the new. Um, okay, so brings us to a little personal favorite here, this little peace sign. 
this peace sign is like like 80 feet up in the air on one of these silos. And so obviously whatever worker was there that day, <laughs> uh, working was like, it was probably happened in the 60s as well. And he was like, oh, let's just put a peace sign up there. So I thought that was cool. It was very hard to find, but we found it. These three pictures are the building now as it exists. Obviously, they're stylized with um, coloring and, and that kind of thing to make it more brilliant and vibrant. But um, there's a lot of, like, this whole part of the section of the building is all brand new. There was uh, nothing. This is the original grain silo itself, or elevator, I'm sorry. And we're going to go through so a couple more pictures. Um, <clears throat> this one in particular is very cool because uh, this is a machine that is sitting on top. This is um, where all the silos were being taken down. And you're like, well, how do you do that? Well, you have to have a machine up there. So they take this huge, major, major, huge machine and crane it up onto the top of the building. And then it, it's got this point. It's called to have a point. It's got this point, and it goes and just chops up, chops, chops, chops away at the concrete. Uh, this is the penthouse, which is now the penthouse. And hopefully we'll go up to the penthouse a little later. And you can see the huge difference. We try to also keep uh, the integrity of that steel structure uh, in the penthouse today. So you'll see a lot of similarity for that. And this is the view that you get from the penthouse at Silo Point. Whichever lucky person is going to buy that, they've got an incredible view. And one of the other cool little development things is that this neighborhood has a three foot, not three foot, a three story height limit on building. So the whole neighborhood zoning, you can't build anything higher than three stories. We didn't even start our units till above three stories. So if you buy a unit here, you'll never look into somebody else's window. You will always be above everybody else's um, buildings. And the reason why we can keep our height is because we didn't tear the building down. By not tearing the building down, it allowed us to keep the original height of the building, which is 320 feet. So totally worked out very, very well. So that was the tour of the photographs at Silo Point that I'm exhibiting. And thank you very much for paying attention.